when I first moved here, you could hear the cows in the morning because there was all farms around us here. It was, there was nothing here but farms when I was growing up. There was a little cluster of houses up in the center of Newtown Square, which at that time was right at 252 and Route 3. We just wandered all over and lived an outdoor life. In Newtown, we have a, a wealth of history is still here. Lots of other towns have knocked theirs all down. They're all gone, but two or three buildings. We have over 100 buildings that are uh, at least 100, 150 years or older. Although I knew everybody in Newtown Square, uh, nobody knew a thing about this area. We researched between a group, a small group of us, every old house in the, in the township. So it, it was all putting little things together, you know, of, of this area. In the northeast part of, uh, of Newtown Square, uh, everything graduated, or, you know, from the main line. I tracked down all the old timers, the people that used to live here, then I'd ask them, who, when you first came here to work in 1910 or 1920, uh, who were the people, and then I'd trace that down, and they could have been in Chester, they could have been in, you know, in the area if they were. Reading the old documents were, was hard, because they're handwritten back in the 1770s. Up at the uh, intersection of uh, Goshen Road and uh, 252, the Square Tavern. It was a tavern that was here during the American Revolution. And right before the American Revolution, there was a, a, a young boy lived there. The, uh, the innkeeper was Jonathan West. And his son, Benjamin, uh, was, was a young boy there. This young boy, he could sketch. And, uh, and then people bought, he had a lot of talent. People bought him a, a paint set. You couldn't just go to the store. You had to go to the big city and, you know, and order it from England. And finally, the people say, you know, you have a lot of talent, you need to go to Europe and study. So he does. He, he Benjamin West is the f father of American painting. Uh, he established a studio in London and every great painter, American painter uh, of the early 19th century and late 18th century passed through his studio. He was a boy from Newtown Square, Benjamin West. Lived in that tavern that's still there. It's still there. Some places you go and there's a marker on a modern building saying this is what this used to be, you know, but we still have what it is.
the bicentennial of the United States. It was a big celebration, 200 years. And that got a lot of people involved in or thinking about history, because the history of the country. And in Newtown Square, that got people thinking about that. And uh, they said, well, 200, that's young, because Newtown Township, they were looking ahead saying in, in uh, what was it? It was in five or six years, we're gonna be 300 years old. So they started planning what they called the tricentennial of Newtown Township. But that started the ball rolling for getting this place. This is where in the paper mill house. And uh, at the time, no one had lived in this place. Uh, it, it, uh, there were holes in the roof. It was abandoned. When I first came here, I noticed and looked in the door that you could see all the way through holes in the floor to the basement and see blue sky <laughs> through the holes in the roof. So it was really in bad shape. It was being lost to history. It would have been torn down. But a couple of these people got interested in the history and they thought well that would make a cool building to you know put a history museum in to maybe do living history there they talked to the man across the street mr harrison and got him on board on the idea he owned the land he ended up donating this the, the paper mill house and uh, i don't know about 10 acres of land here to the township to be preserved to create this museum raised money and uh, came here every weekend and did the work, basically completely gutted it, rebuilt it, got a roof on, got a heating system in, uh, put the walls up. It just needed everything and these guys did it over the course of several years and uh, in time for the tricentennial celebration. The fact that I can, can't go anywhere in Newtown Square and look out and see an open field is, is, is not good. The best kind of preservation is to urge people to keep using these buildings for you know, here we have a purpose. But there's a lot of people I couldn't give a darn, you know, like knock the houses down around here. We are going to have to keep a better watch on how things are done because the DuPont estate, we went to meetings and meetings and saved all those houses, old houses. They tore down all those old houses on, on the DuPont property and they weren't supposed to do it. They want to build 200 units on the DuPont farm. Uh, and so they knocked down, you know, a lot of the old buildings to do it. And uh, because that's what builders do, builders build. And again, we're not trying to freeze the whole township in history. You know, we're not trying to freeze everything in place, uh, but the places that have value uh, and you know, which is hard to define. Some people think, oh my gosh, if, if my house is designated, then you historic people will be looking in my windows and making me do this and tell me what color paint I have to use. And you know, it's not that. But there is also a right of the people to say, no, there are certain things in our township that we value so much that we don't want you tearing it down.
You really need the community behind you. You have to get people to value history, and that's it's just a hard sell. Our mission is to remind people that you know you can do things face to face, interactive. In, in coming into the historical society, you really come into the beating heart of what makes a community more than just a place that everyone goes to sleep. A city, a new city without any past is, doesn't have a soul, I don't think. You learn a lot from the past. History tends to repeat itself in many cases. It, 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 it gets under your skin, I guess you might call it. And I, it certainly got under my skin. I've met wonderful people here. I've gotten to know a, a lot about the history of the area, and uh, and it's a it's a journey of self discovery too. When you get, when you get out and get involved with with people and uh, with the community, you uh, it's a gift you give to yourself.